4th of October, it's Wednesday and I'm in my car and it's quarter to seven at night. I'm off to pick up my friend. I'm meeting two girlfriends and we're going out for an Italian. I've had a really crap day. I'm depressed. The kids have absolutely wiped the floor with me and spat me back out. And I'm feeling quite bleh, ready to give up, I am. However, I'm gonna go for my Italian. I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna meal plan and go shopping tomorrow and get my head screwed back on because it's my switch has gone off a bit. So, yeah, I'll let you see what I'm eating at the Italian. But I can't say I'm gonna be looking for the lowest calorie item on the menu, but we shall see. I haven't been to Italian for absolutely ages. So, yeah. I'll catch up with you um, in a bit. So we're now on to the next day. It's October the 5th. Thursday, so you saw what I had at the Italian last night. It's nice to catch up with a couple of my friends. Do you know what it was lovely that place? I might even take Warren there. Um, I'm just in the dreams of getting Dexter to school. Yes. Oh, this oh. is an orange. We're, we're going to cut into it. Yeah, well, don't cut any more. Watch that ninja knife you've got there. It's sharp. Um. It's cutting up an orange. So we thought, well, that was a lemon. Um, I'm just finishing off doing my shopping list and I'm picking my mum up at half past 10 and we're going to Tesco. Just deciding what to do for dinner tonight and I am thinking burger in a bowl. I haven't done that for a while. Absolutely love burger oh, in a bowl. So, sorry? No, you can't have that. Put it back. No, I know. Put it back. Um, Jackson's already left for school. I've got to get Dexter out. And my 16-year-old, again, will not get out of bed. So I'm going to have to go and sort him out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a bit more positive today that I'm going to be back on the straight and narrow. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you um, in a bit. So... I've just come down to get my mum and we're going shopping. Right, mum? Yeah. Got your list? Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah. Right, we're going to Tesco and possibly home bargains. We have ended up in Tesco's cafe and it was really, really busy. And I've gone for a posh pound baguette, 675 calories. So that will be coming out of my personal calories. However, my head is slightly not screwed on today, but this is my lunch. Well, I'm back home. Sorry guys, I haven't done a shopping haul because two of the kids were back when I got back and they've been in my shopping, in my bags. Um, I picked up a couple of Halloween things um, it would have been a good shopping. I spent £104 in home bargains. How can you spend £104 in home bargains? Um, but yeah, so there's no shopping haul today. I'm um, all set for doing burger in a bowl in a couple of hours. I'm just waiting for Dexter to come in. And yeah. I'm absolutely friggin' knackered. I need to get more sleep. I'm gonna go and put my tumble dryer back on. My, I, do, I do like that tumble dryer, I do. I was told that the door, having the tank on the door would be a pain in the neck and I wouldn't like it and that, I, I like it. Uh, 
I just can't believe from one load of washing you get like a full tank of water. So it just goes to show you, if you dry your clothes on the radiator, all that moisture would be going in the, in the air and causing damp. But yeah, I do love. And people have said to me, well, can't you put your clothes on washing line? Well, yeah, I can. But when it rains, you can't. And people say, well, I've got a clothes horse. I've got a clothes horse. I've got... um." Three clothes horses, but there's five of us, and I just can't get enough on my clothes. And I don't want clothes horses all around my front room, you know. So, yeah, I'm. Uh, I don't know what's happening to me at the moment. My enthusiasm to lose weight is gone. I'm. I'm either on it or I'm not on it, and and I'm half on and half off it and it's um i don't know i don't know what's going on in my brain i know i need to do it because i've got bad knees and I, I need to shift my weight to get my knees done but then it's like the food's going eat me eat me oh jesus christ i need a good slap i think and then Warren's had, um, he's had good news with his job. His job's hours and that are going to be slightly changing. So he's going to be earning more, more money for me to buy ninjas. <laughs> I've already got my next one in mind. I am, yes. Yeah, so I'm just waiting to press that order button. Um, But yeah, I don't know. I need to go to bed tonight. Yeah, actually go to bed because I didn't end up going to bed last night after saying I'm going to bed. I woke up with Warren coming in the front room. All right, love. There's me with one night. Oh, God, is it morning already? I've fallen asleep in the chair. I don't know. Bungalow is what I need. And I always say when anything happens to my dear mum, old Flosso, I'm going to move. I cannot physically move from this house now because it's so convenient as my mum is across the road. If I move away, I can't just be here at hand for my mum. But when the time comes, because we don't live forever, do we? That's one thing guaranteed in life. I'm going to buy a bungalow and that will be the best move in my life. I could do with a bungalow now on my knees. Warren said to me, he said, oh, get, let me get you a stair lift put in. But I'm like, I don't want a stair lift. Jesus Christ, can you imagine if the wall reinforced put me on a stair lift? But no, I don't want a stair lift. I want a bungalow. I want a bungalow. A nice little bungalow. <sighs> anyway, I can dream for now. But yeah. I'll catch up with you when it's dinner time and I'm doing food for my mum as I usually do and I ended up buying a cheesecake in Tesco because I said oh do you fancy a bit of cheesecake and cream with your tea tonight and she was like oh yeah so I put that in the trolley and now it's in the kitchen going Karen 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 me me see how is it that someone can be totally not bothered with food, don't bother. And then somebody can be like, feed me the cake. <laughs> oh, God. Dieting's hard, being overweight is hard. You choose your hard. That's what they say, isn't it? That's not the hard I'd be choosing at the moment, anyway. <laughs> I like some things hard, but you know. Right, enough talking crap. I'm going to carry on putting my shopping away and I'm going to go and talk to my cheesecake. Bye. So this is what I have made for my dinner. It's burger in a bowl. There is salad underneath there. I will stick all the calories on screen. Um, but yeah, that is dinner. 
Did the cheesecake win? It did. The cheesecake got me. I don't know what the matter with me is. Honest to God, I am so damn good and then I'm so damn crap. It's like I've been kidnapped by the food monsters. It'd be easier just to give up and stay fat and not bother getting my legs done. <laughs> but that's not an option, is it? And Dexter told me earlier, if I died, he'd miss me. Just come out randomly. Not while I was eating the cheesecake, mind. He just said, I'll miss you when you die, you know. I was like, oh, cheers, love. So it is midnight. When will I go to bed tonight? Will I go up the stairs? I'm actually watching Grab Life by the Halls and she's having a meltdown for some reason, love her. Um, I had a tip for like we all do at times. Um, yeah, I need to um, go to bed. Reset my brain because my brain does work, although it hasn't the last few days. And wake up with a different attitude. I found a plan I like. Don't feel like I'm on a diet, so how have I eaten a load of shit? Thing is, it happens to us all. We all fall off that wagon. The last three days, I've fallen off that wagon and it's run me over. And I just feel like I can't be asked. Not just with dieting, I just can't be asked. Can't be asked with anything. Do you know, I went to the doctors back in March, right? March. To see if I could get Saxenda, right? And she said to me, um, oh, I can't prescribe that for you. She said, if you were diabetic or borderline diabetic, she said, I could write you a prescription out right now. But she said, I, I can't. You have to um, go through weight management to get it, right? So I was like, right, okay. And she said, considering the situation with your knees... I'll put it down as urgent. Have I heard anything? Have I? Hell. My friend is also waiting to see weight management. And she went last September. The next September has just gone. And she hasn't heard a dicky bird. And when she chased it up, she was basically told she ain't got any chance of being seen anytime soon. And the wait to see weight management some people have been waiting like two and a half years. So are they just hoping that we'll just have a heart attack and die and not need to be seen or what? Or are they just hoping that we'll miraculously lose all the weight by the time our appointment comes through? I know the NHS is at crisis. But the reality is people are getting fatter. And in a few years time, the obesity is going to be such a freaking epidemic it's gonna shut the flipping national health down but uh, i have got an option of buying um saxenda at 250 pound a month um warren's offered to buy it for me um he said i'll buy it for you if you want to do it but i don't want to pay 250 pound a month so not when i can buy for £250 a month, I could have a ninja every month, couldn't I? Um, I do know somebody who has tried the new Wigovi. Um, but Saxenda and Wigovi are literally really short and you're lucky if you get it. And I did watch a programme on Channel 4 about the skinny jab. And it basically was saying that you can't get hold of these because people who are slim are buying it privately 
and they're prioritizing people on that have got diabetes which is only right so there's nothing left for the bigger people that are trying to get it but yeah that is an option you know whether it would work or not i don't know but uh as far as the weight management um appointment goes i don't think i'll be hearing anything this year anyway or halfway through next year i just gotta keep keep trying and keep trying right i am going to carry on watching telly friday tomorrow or friday now because it's just gone midnight my two little munchkins are off to school my eldest has um no school tomorrow they've got inset day um oh and i did take him to one of the local chinese's tonight i don't think you'll get the job mind my friend messaged me and said oh, i've seen this job it was um somebody to work on the front desk taking orders helping out in the kitchen and stuff so i nipped down there and spoke to them i took he was like oh come with me i'm nervous come with me so i just went in and just said oh i saw an advert on facebook i said my son's interested blah blah blah. he took his name and number and said he'd give him a ring if you know but he said he'd had a load of people in already so i doubt he'll get that but it would have been nice um for him just to get a little job you know earn his own money instead of keep going can i have this can i have 10 pound can i have five pound because every day he goes out it's like oh can i have a fiver can i have a fiver so basically i don't give my children pocket money but whatever they want they get basically but we don't give them like a set amount of pocket money <sighs> right i'm going to bed now that's a lie i'm not going to bed now i'm turning this off i'm going to edit it I'm going to carry on watching telly. I've actually got my dryer on. Oh, update on my dryer. I really like my dryer. And there was two boys this morning because the dryer's been at my front door. And there was two boys this morning in a van as I was taking Dexter to school. I could see them looking at it. And I had it covered over with like this plastic. So it looked like a new machine, really, that had been delivered. And they were, they were looking and looking. So I said, Dad, I want this machine. And they were like, oh, is it new? And I was like, well, it's 15 months old, it's got a fault on it, but, you know, if you're clever, you probably can fix it. And they were like, oh, can we have it? We make it, we can fix that. And I was like, yeah, take it. So they took it away. So I was grateful that's gone because it was blocking my, yeah, uh, my doorway. But, yeah, my new dryer's good. I like it. It does take longer to dry than my other one, but it is cheaper to run. So I'm just waiting for that to finish as well. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed eventually in another hour or so. And then I'm going to wake up with a new mindset and be good. Because my scales didn't like me when I had a way to see how much I'd uh, lost or gained or whatever. So, yeah. Just got to keep trying. It's, you know, no, don't, don't give up. That's all. Don't give up. Never give up. That's when you lose, when you give up. Right. That's enough for now. I'll see you tomorrow, guys, on the next one where hopefully I've reset my brain. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye.